Hey everyone, welcome back. My name's Matt, and today I'm continuing the series in which I go through Dark Souls 3 and show my tips and tricks on how I like to defeat the bosses on Soul Level 1. Alright, so as you can see here, we are in the Catacombs of Carthus. Right up ahead is everyone's favorite Vape Lord, uh, High Lord Volnir. So, let's look through the gear quickly, like usual. Plus 10 Short Sword. The usual suspects here, Lloyd Sword Ring, Chlorinthy Ring, Flynn's Ring, and the Lloyd's Shield Ring. Now, um, very important that you save some Gold Pine Resin for this fight. Hopefully you only have to do it once. But uh, yeah, he's going to be weak to this stuff and it's going to absolutely shred him, even on Soul Level 1. Alright, so let's talk about the fight for a second here. Volnir is another one of those bosses where when you go into him to fight him the first time, he will be like in like a, a state where he's not like alert of you. So when you go in, there will be like what what most players will go to. They'll see that item in the middle when they first play, and they'll run up to it, and that's when the boss starts. However, if you run to the side, you can actually go right to his hands. And usually, the best one to go to is the right hand because that's where he has uh, two of his uh, bracelets, as opposed to his right hand, it only has one. So what you want to do, and it's important if you're gonna have the easiest time doing this boss you want to be able to get it done the first time you go in right up to his hands put the gold pine resin on just hold in r2 and just smash it one hit should break one of the rings and then instantly if you can start mashing away you might get lucky and be able to break the other one while you're at it but at the very least you should be able to get a few hits of damage on it and then after that it's a matter of trying to end the fight as quickly as possible but you know while being safe Volnir does a lot of slow attacks where he'll like take one of his hands and he'll raise it the whole way over and you can literally just stand there and stare at it and then you'll see it start slowly coming at you as it comes out you just roll and then once the hand hits down usually a good time to attack it just depends he has a bad habit of liking to take his hands and bring them all the way back towards his body like where that mist is that will just shred you so you have to be mindful of that the best attack the safest one where you actually get a good bit of damage is he'll raise both his hands at the same time and slam them into the ground. If you get that, you're in good shape. He'll slam it down. That's pretty much an instant ring break. So, yeah, you want to get it done pretty quickly because the longer you let the fight go on, the closer he gets to you, like walking towards the edge, and then he'll start spawning skeletons and he'll get his sword and whatnot. And the sword's not that big of a deal. It's pretty much just like guarding or uh, dodging against his hands. But the problem is, if you take too long and are too careful, he will eventually push you back up against the wall. And if he does that vape attack, I mean, you're you're done. That's just the end of the end of the day. Other than that, though, I don't think there's much to talk about. It's it's a pretty simple boss. That's why uh, I personally like to go through and get plus ten just for max damage, so I can just end it as quickly as possible. But yeah, let's go in. All right, here we go. All right. So there's, there we go. Let's throw on this gold pine resin. All right. Bang, one ring broken. All right. All right, he's gonna slam down. Another ring broken, beautiful. Alright, he's probably gonna vape here. Yep. Oh never mind, he's coming forward a little bit. Let's see what he does. Yep, here comes the vape. This is really good though. Pretty solid start to the fight. Just get away from this stuff, let him do his thing. Let him ruin his lungs. Alright, here's gonna be a great time to get a few attacks. Or just end the fight. Beautiful. Well, let me grab this before. I mean, I don't even need it, but you know, just for pride. All right. So as you can see there, uh, you follow pretty much that same guide right there. I mean, there's there'll be some slight variations and whatnot, but it's very very simple. Just let him walk up to him, uh, get that R2 instant break, and then just wait for your opportunities to hit the other wrists. 
I think the one took three hits because I kind of hit his actual hand and wrist. And then that last one only took two. It was very simple. Gold Pine Resin, plus 10 if you can manage it. All this set up. I think you'll be good to go. Um, just to reiterate, it's a, if you want to have the easiest time possible, try and get it on the first try. Because that first, that first free ring break is such, or bracelet break, is so, it's so huge. Really helps you out a lot. Anyway, that's that's gonna do it for this boss here. Nothing too nothing too crazy. Up next, I think will be. Now I don't really know if I, I mean I probably don't even need to make a guide for Yorm the giant because it's the same thing for any level. You just get the storm ruler. I mean I know you can kill it with magic, archery, yada yada yada. But I mean I'll probably still make one just just so I have all the bosses I guess. But yeah, Yorm and then uh, one of my favorite bosses. That was the bane of my first ever Soul Level 1 run for the longest time in uh, good old Pontus Sullivan, but we're going to make an absolute mockery of him. Just, just wait and see. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I will catch you at, uh, at Yorm, I guess. Later.